Hi, I'm Stuart from SFB Deadworks. Welcome to the next job. As Gunnar looks, it's all about. Okay, so here we are. We've got this parapet wall to cap. There's quite a lot of it, to be honest with you. So it's all the way from, from that wall down there, all the way through here, all the way down here, all the way back through here. Oh my God. Through there, through there. Um, so I've got coping stones going on top of this as well. Um, so it's just copying really what's been done before on this job by someone else. Um, they gave it quite a big downstand actually on this side. They gave it 75 mil, um, or 70 or 75 mil. I need to double check that and get them both the same. So there is a fair amount to do and keep me busy for a couple of hours, wasn't it? And some outlets to, to finish off as well. I did see there's one down there as well, one there. And we've got another one there. And also, I think there's probably going to be a flashing to this back wall as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've got a flashing to this back wall here as well that hasn't been done. So um, I think the first thing we're going to do is get everything all swept off and tidied up so I can actually see what I'm doing few nails and stuff on that roof I'll get all them cleared up before anyone walks on those um yes yeah, so we'll get it all swept up get some building paper on there start setting out some welts okay so that's everything all swept off now and uh got all the building paper on here as well so that's ready now to take some lead what I want to do is just start working out where all these welts are going to come so I've got to be careful that the welts don't you know come too close to a corner and stuff like that um, I've had a look at one of the parapet walls that's been capped on that plot over there and they've, they've done 1.5 meter section so I'll try to, to keep it as similar as I can um, but obviously just need to make sure because I'm governed slightly about my corners and things like that if they're in different positions and I might have to do slightly smaller panels but um, we'll start setting out some welts now and uh, see where things come Okay, so I've got all my welts all set out now. As you can see, I've got all the copper in place now as well. Quite a few of them. Just basically got them well out there. Just sort of like about 100 mil either side of the welt, just like one in the middle as well. So now that copper's all in place, start knocking up some lead and getting that, getting that through there. Okay, so I'm just working my way along now, getting these panels on. I'm not doing too badly. We're going pretty much to the end of this side, just through here at the moment. Um, done the, these corners round here as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mitre these. That's why I've left it long at the moment. So I'm going to cut it. So we're going to have a weld. It's basically going to go from sort of like corner to corner. So like point to point. We'll have a weld all the way down there. And when these two dress down, these will both meet as well. So we'll have a little weld that comes down there as well. And just left like a little tag one there at the moment, um, which will make it easier to weld. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll get all these corners done more towards the end once I've got a lot of the area on. So what I'll do first, so I'll carry on getting these panels in. I'm just gonna take you now to the bench and show you me knocking these up. Okay, so I know my size of the panel, which is one meter, 310. Roll this out. Cut this off.
this is more more wells. up the last well. now ready okay let's get this panel fitted then just want to slide it in and make sure you feel that all the, it's picking up all the copper and then I'm just measuring 70 mil in the well. Also I'm going to do is notch out with the well just to stop it from, from moving and also when you fill it in you won't see the copper. That's by a couple of mil. Just 
ليش ما كنا that done so now I'm just going to knock off about another thousand of these and catch you in a bit okay so that's all these panels on now all the way around it's quite a lot of it um, I did get caught out with a bit of rain but I managed to get some oil on there just before that hasn't quite taken properly but I'm thinking when I when oil it again a lot of that should come off so I'm not too worried about that at the moment I think that'll be fine so um, yeah that's all these panels on all the way down here as well. So what I'm going to do next, I've just got a couple of corners to weld in on this one. So I'm going to weld, just going to weld, weld those two bits in there. Then what I'm going to do is start setting in all of these welts, get all these welts set in. I think after that, what I'm going to do then just finish off the front of all of these outlets there's three of these outlets to finish off I'll get all these fronts finished another one down there as well won't take you all the way down there I'm, I'm, I'm getting too many steps in today <laughs> so there's another one down there as well but we'll get all these all these fronts finished then we can start dressing all this capping down okay so that's all those welts all set in now also I've just finished all the fronts of these outlets. These are all finished now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start dressing down all of these edges. Okay, so that's all these edges all dressed down now, all the way around. Just in the process now of just welding up at these corners. Just done this one down here. So all those edges turned down as well. So I'm just gonna weld all these corners in. Um, and I've got the stone man. I'm gonna want to start putting some copings on behind me. So uh, I need to get these corners welded up, get that all oiled. Then we can concentrate on the flashing to the back wall. Okay, so that's most of those corners welded up now. I've just got one there to do. I've got another one there to do as well. But what I'm gonna do first before I weld those in is I'm gonna get this flashing into this back wall first. I'll get that flashing in and then I can weld those those little gussets in there. Um, all of that lead has now been oiled and the stone man is, is chasing me on this one. He's, he's right behind me putting and starting to put the copings on now as well. So he's got a nice decent run to be getting on with now um, just while I'm finishing this back section. So we'll get this flashing in, weld those gussets in and that'll be job done. Okay, so that's all that flashing to the back wall done now and so just pointed that in as well um, so that is job done so I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up you can check me out on Instagram at SLB Leadworks if you're new to the channel please subscribe hopefully catch you in the next cheers